This video is not part of the Nutty or Balanced Hero series. It is rather its own Kingdom Rush analysis. Every once in a while, I ask myself a stupid question, like, what is the most mechanically competent Kingdom Rush hero? Illyria and Malik are obviously out, they're just their regular selves, but weaker. Not much to report there. Bulwark's a bit boring and doesn't really do much for his stage. Same thing for Rurin. I don't care. The Black Corsair is interesting. He moves in water and he uses explosive weapons, not like most heroes, but I think there is one more that bests even him. Okay, wait, I need to introduce her. How do I how do I say her name? So the Lucre Lucretia? I think it's Lucretia. Yay! Okay, party poppers. But in all seriousness, there's a couple reasons why I think this, and why I don't think many will disagree with me. I think the main thing is just how she counters the stage she's in itself. Dusk Chateau, Dusk Chateau, Dusk Chateau only really introduces one major enemy, the Vampiressa. Now if you're anything like me, you absolutely hate these things. It just takes so long to kill and they spawn in so many numbers. I've seen like 12 of them on the map at once, on one side. This is why I love her skill set. She only has two, but she's basically built to counter these things. To your luck. The life drain is an imitation of an ability that the vampiresses have. If one tries to drain her, she can drain it right back. This also works on pretty much anything she attacks, including ghosts. And it helps with her kind of squishy health even though she has high armor? Again? What the fuck? I mean, you can also use totems to cut away the life leeching abilities of vampiresses, but... Why? And then there's the more obvious Slayer. This is your guaranteed weapon of choice, not just against vampiresses, but ghosts. Against them, it's about as good as an insta-kill. Not just that, but it's very conveniently an area attack. This is especially helpful with how many enemies spawn in this stage. And, and, for all you micro-lovers out there, she can turn herself into a bat. She's essentially got everything you need. She can deal with the surplus of vampiresses with an area attack. She can keep herself alive. She can move around the area quick. And it even seems like the stage itself was kind of built for her. It's a simple yet effective layout. You get to put her on one path and your main hero on another. And you can swap between the two thanks to her bat form. It's not exactly taxing to move her around. And she's actually pretty easy to micro with only one move. Well, two, but one that you'd want to essentially micro. This feels like the only stage where she would really work as a secondary hero, and I kind of prefer that. She doesn't overstay her welcome and gets used extensively. She works really well as a one-time gimmick, and manages to be a pretty powerful hero without completely breaking the stage. Anyway, I think that's pretty much my whole review of Dante. Oh, no.